Hey guys, what's up? My name's Hydroponic Caravan, and uh, kind of in between LPs at the moment. So we're going to do a bit of, I'm not sure how long I'll keep up with this, I might not go through the entire game, but we're going to be playing Kachaoshima Kasaku. It's a game on the SNES. It's entirely in Japanese, and I believe it's text-based. I honestly have no idea what to expect. So this could be interesting. Apparently kicking tunes. And lag. Once upon a time, there was a strange face-shaped object. And a city. And a man, a man in a city, wearing a suit, with 34 X's inside of a house next to a bar stools, and a lot of lines, a whole fucking lot of lines, and two rectangles on top of each other, and an upside down Y, and they will go on the adventure of a lifetime, dot dot dot. Catch up. Just catch up with the music. Stop lagging. Are you done? Are you done lagging? Are you sure you're done lagging? Are you 100% certain that you are done lagging? Okay. Pixelating. Fade out. Sir, why are you so fat? I can't help it! I can't help it! I leave- I live on Twinkies! I can't do anything about it! Now go do your work, boy! Thoughtful silence. A protagonistic manner. Oh, protagonist! Oh, my beloved protagonist! Protagonist, you must go to the city! To Abbey Times! The Super Business Adventure in the Cobalt City. Super business. Not just any business, but super. Oh god, that was the only. Finally, that song's not lagging anymore. 1st of December, of the two boxes on top of each other and a strange face holding a pogo stick. Period. What do I do here? Oh, I hit the A button. For one more string of Japanese characters. There are more Japanese characters. It appears to be a bunch of Japanese characters in this notebook. Japanese characters, you say? I love those. Oh dear. Does this actually develop gameplay at any point? Oh, fuck. I have to choose uh, 
I have to choose a path. Choose your destiny. You know what? I'll be right back. Grabbed a container of polyhedral dice. Great for Dungeons and Dragons and JRPGs where you don't know what's going on. I conveniently have a four-sided die. Here, so let's roll this crap. Choice two. More text. Narration text. More narration text. Why the hell did I decide to do this? Oh hey, I've got different music now. In the Tokotsubashimi office building. My phone goes off. In the Tokotsubashimi office building. Luckily all I have to do in this damn game is hit the A button repeatedly. More text. I can carry on a text message conversation and play this game simultaneously because this game is so fucking boring. Oh my god, what is wrong with his face? Hello there, 80% of Japanese characters are pedophiles, did you know that? Hello there, protagonist. Oh, hello there, Mr. Pedophile. Did you know that 58% of your statistics are made up? Three. Okay, here comes the dice again. Three! It's the flavor of the day. Oh yes, I love being a pedophile too. Time! Dramatic narration! That really needed an Atari sound effect. Oh, he hella pissed off. Wait, what is that? Is, oh, oh, what? Why is there a spaceship there? What? Why is there a spaceship? Why does that man have eyes for glasses? Why is the protagonist so angry? Find out next time that I hit the A button. That was very enlightening. This is my dramatic voice. Hello, my name is Layton, and I have come to save space. So I can gather from what's going on right now, is protagonist man is... By angering... There's a pedophile operation going on in space, he angered the pedophile, and now the entire space mission is threatened. That's what I think is going on in this plotline right now. Decision point, roll the dice. One. Another string of Japanese characters. What could this mean for our lovely protagonist? Oh no! The original nerd, the nerd's father, has returned! And all of his nerdy glory! There are 1,000 Japanese characters on this page! 1,000! Do you realize how many that is? No, I do not realize how many 1,000 Japanese characters are. Yeah. Yeah. Why is she talking in a mobster voice from Munchie? Sad protagonist is sad. Oh god, it's another decision point. So, many decision points. Number two. Oh, an actual cutscene this time. Yeah. And then suddenly, I was approached by Layton, the nerd, in the hallway. He said to me, Sir, have you heard about the new WoW expansion? There are pandas. Yeah, that's right. Motherfucking pandas. But he said it more like this. Motherfucking pandas. I don't think this game ever develops actual gameplay aside from hitting the A button. It's classy, it's like, uh, Heavy Rain, but without the graphics and the quick time events. Actually, on second thought, it might be better than Heavy Rain. One man, 
alone in the universe, full of Japanese characters, must save the pedophile space operation. Aided by his good friends Leighton the Nerd, and Charlton, the older nerd, and that pedophile guy that will never be mentioned again. He must decide the fate of the universe. He has four decisions. What do you pick? And I apparently pick number two again. It appears to be our lucky number tonight. It was Pagoda Pretzel something or another. Suddenly, our protagonist finds himself with the pedophile in a bar. This could end poorly. Hello there, pedophile. Hey, baby. So, I, uh, head to that bars. I, I love hanging around the bars. The problem is, you have to be over the age of 18 or 21 even to be in a bar. That's a little load for me, don't you think? Wait, why is there... No one's even talking right now! Why is there narr... Was that narration? I don't even know. Dramatic pause. Oh no, it's Charlton. I think this is supposed to be a tense moment. But disappointingly, it's not in English, so I have no idea what's going on. His finger rests on the button that controls the fate of the universe. Wait, scratch that. It's not red. It's obviously not the fate of the universe. Oh, uh, that just reminded me of, uh... The it? I can't remember what it's called now. And we have a lovely soliloquy with Charlton controlling the fate of the universe. And no music. It's a little eerie, I have to say. There's been music throughout this entire game up until now, except I think for one dramatic pause. It's, it's a little eerie. Charlton's having a serious moment. And he's gotta... He's gotta help save the pedophile space operation. I mean, it's important stuff, you know? It's really important stuff, as you can see by this text here. Okay, another decision point. How will Charlton go about his night? Option one, have a drink with ladies. Option two, have a drink with men. Option three, have a drink with ladies and men. Option four, foreveralone.jpg. Option one, have a drink with ladies. Apparently nine of them. That's the only characters on the entire page I can read, so it's evidently have he evidently had a drink with nine ladies. And then he had to pay them a hundred dollars. Each. That's what happens when you have to hire your ladies. And he recorded the entire night because he's a creeper. And no, not the green ones from Minecraft. I don't know why I'm making this entire game so sexual. I don't know, it's the middle of the night. Actually, it's not at all, 2930. Uh, Blueberry Man. Yeah, nice scrolling background here. And now, we're going to pause it, because I think I have probably have a lot of time on this episode. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is quite long, and goddammit, Windows help and support. No one asked for your opinion. So, yeah, guys, uh, it's the first episode of Let's Play... I don't even know how to pronounce it. Let's Play the Japanese text-based RPG with no gameplay whatsoever. Thank you for watching. This has been Hydroponic Caravan. So
Signing out, maybe. Signing out. Good night.